Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Legendary Leaders. I am your host, Katrina Jamison. I'm the founder of Legend Leaders, where we arm female business leaders with the strategies they need to master the one rule of career success so they can live life on their terms, a legend life. We are in preparation season. The month of December is completely dedicated. It is called preparation season. What are we preparing for? We are preparing for a phenomenal year, a phenomenal 2023. There is no debate. There is no option. 2023 is going to be amazing because we are going to make it so. And the way that we're going to do that is by being intentional about who we want to become, how we want to show up, what we want to achieve, what we want to celebrate and enjoy. We want to be clear about all of those things. Those are the things that we are preparing for through this month together on the Legendary Leaders Podcast and YouTube channel. And so I am so glad that you were with me today. Last week I kicked it off. I introduced it to you. You had one question really. If you didn't download the workbook, you had one question. If you downloaded the workbook, you had a couple questions, right? You had a couple things to do. But the key thing was this. Why does preparation season matter to you? Why is it a must? What does it mean to you? It's really what you anchored in, what you did, what you worked on, and you solidified since joining me on the last episode last week. Today, what we're going to do is now that you're committed to this process, is we're going to talk about self-assessment. I told you last week that a lot of people spend the entire month of December really reflecting and celebrating and appreciating, and that we're not going to spend the whole month doing that because we can't. This has been a great year and we're going to appreciate it, but we're really going to get ready for what next year has in store for us because it's going to be a phenomenal year. Like I said, we're going to make it a phenomenal year. It's a must. And so to make it a phenomenal year, we have to do some intentional actions. We have to take the time to prepare for it and plan for it. And that's what we're doing together. Today, specifically as part of that, is the self-assessment. Today is the one day, the one time frame that we're actually going to look backwards and we're going to spend that time reflecting. So not four opportunities, right? Because there are four episodes in this mini series. Not four times are we going to self-reflect, just one. And that's today. So if you want to spend some time looking back at your year, you've joined us, you've joined me on the proper episode because that's exactly what we're going to do today. So what does that look like? What are you doing? Well, before we jump into the what, let's talk about why we're doing it, okay? Why are we looking back at this year? We got to know what we did. We got to understand what goals did we set. We have to understand where we landed relative to achieving those goals, right? What's that quote? I don't know whether I always get it right, but right, like shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll reach the stars, right? Or you'll land amongst the stars. That's what you're doing right now. You set a target something that you wanted to achieve this year in 2022. You set the target. And now is the time to look back and say, did I hit the target? Did I come close to the target? Did I far and away exceed the target? Where'd I go? What happened this year? We have to do that so that we can appreciate and celebrate and know what we did. We need to know how we performed. We need to have some room to look back and say, huh, I did do that, didn't I? That was a big deal. You know, I will tell you that part of what I do every year, and I've mentioned it through different podcasts and different trainings that I do, but one of the things that I do is I always carry a journal. It's over there. I always have a journal with me. And I keep it with me because I'm making notes about different conversations. I'm making notes about different trainings. I'm making notes about ideas that I have, right? But one of the things that I have inside of the journal is when something happens that's important, that's monumental, right? And and monumental could be, you know, I had this amazing conversation with this brand new client or I built this great business relationship or, right, it doesn't have to be that I made a million dollars. Of course, that's monumental. But I'm not saying that it can only be at that level and can be considered monumental. It's relationships. It's 
milestones. It's anything that I want to remember to celebrate because it was a big deal. I flip that into the back of my journal. I have, you know, the, the hardback portion of the journal and then the page in front of it. And I use that to collect my notes. I'll put the date and what happened. And of course, it's going inside the journal. But I have this running timeline of celebrations and big deals and things that have happened. And that stays in the back of my journal. And this time of year, I go back and look at my journals. And I have several of them, right? It's not just one journal that'll get me through the year. I, I have m multiples because I've had to replace them because I fill them up. I write a lot in journals. And so I pull all of them out for the year. And I flip to the very back and I see all of the things that have happened. And I celebrate that. Because here's the deal. When we sit here right now and we try to remember all of the things that have happened this whole 12 months prior, we're going to forget some things. Or we're going to remember things that built upon the other. So we're going to remember the last thing that happened in the stair step progression, but we're not going to remember the first one necessarily, right? But the first one is probably the most important because it got us started. And so I don't want to forget any of the stairs. I want to remember each one of them. And so that's my method for keeping up with it. Whether you've done that or whether you haven't, it's no big deal. Today, what you're going to do is you're going to sit down, or this week, between now and the next time I connect with you on, uh, on Legendary Leaders, right? You're going to sit down and you're going to reflect. I want you to list out the goals or the targets that you created for yourself for this year. Maybe you sat down and said, hey, I'm going to finally achieve that promotion. This is the year for that. I'm going to get that promotion. Maybe that was one of them. And so you jot that down. And then not only do you list out what the target or goal was, but then you list out how you're doing relative to that goal. Did you achieve it? Yes or no? Right? Yes or no? Did you get there? Yes, I got it. How did it feel? Was it exciting? Is it still exciting now? Right? Probably depends on how long ago you got the promotion. <laughs> um, did you not get it? If you didn't get it, why? Maybe you didn't get it because you turned it down. Maybe you realized that the position that you aimed for at the beginning of the year, once you got closer and closer to it, didn't align with the path that you want to go down in your career or your personal life. And so you pivoted. Maybe you didn't get it because the company restructured. Maybe you didn't get it because you weren't prepared in your leadership and you need a little bit more growth. Now, that last one's a really hard one to swallow, I know. I get it. We don't ever want to feel like we're less than. But I, I'm challenging you to do the self-reflection and not only call out the targets that you set for yourself, but I want you to detail the result and why that result is what it is. This is what you're going to do. The why relative to that result is just as important as the result. Because maybe, just maybe, you're giving yourself a hard time for not achieving something. And what I want you to see through this process is that maybe it wasn't yours to achieve. Maybe you set the wrong target. And you're being so hard on yourself because you didn't hit this one milestone or this one endpoint. But the simple fact that you set that target and you started marching in that direction has caused so much growth to occur for you professionally and maybe even personally that that was the entire point. And so it wasn't even really about the end point. It was really about the growth and the journey that you went on to get there. That's the point of today. That's the self-assessment. That's what you're doing. And the why, again, is because we need to understand what to celebrate. We need to give you some wins. We need to let you stop beating yourself up if you're holding yourself accountable for some things that you really shouldn't. And then maybe, quite frankly, there are some targets that you set and you really should have achieved them. And there's no reason why you didn't other than the fact that maybe you were afraid or you held back or you didn't show up for yourself like you should have. Whatever lesson, whatever reason why you didn't get there, Say it this way. Whatever reason why you didn't get there is a lesson. And I want you to learn that lesson now. I don't want you to repeat it next year and have to learn it again. Let's learn the lessons from 2022 in 2022 so that we can take the growth, the knowledge, and the learning and apply it and open that new chapter for 2023 and go learn something new. 
Sound like a deal? Good plan? That's what I want to do. That's what I want for you is that growth. And I want you to go celebrate whatever the achievements are, whatever happened that was good, whatever happened that maybe didn't feel so good in the moment, but really was the right plan and path for you. I want you to celebrate that. You know, I remember a point in my corporate career where I was asked, I was asked by senior leadership to apply for a position. The individual came and toured with me um, and went around to some of my stores, sat in the car, I was driving around, and that individual looked at me and said, Katrina, we're posting this position. It's based out of the home office. I want you to apply for it. And I'm like, oh, that's a really big deal, right? When senior leadership asks you to apply for something, you got to apply unless you just seriously don't want it. And even then, you're kind of like, mm, do I get to say no, right? So I applied, and I didn't get the position. And I remember thinking, what in the heck did I do wrong? How did I screw that up? And I remember asking questions of the panel, and the panel, everyone on the panel was like, you were amazing. You did fantastic. There's zero feedback we would give you on how to change your answers or how to portray yourself or whatever, right? So there was no growth from an interview perspective that I needed. I'm like, what did I do wrong? Well, the answer was a simple fact that I didn't do anything wrong, but I'd never really interviewed for a position before. Never had to. It was always tapped. And so I think for me, when I look back on that, number one, it wasn't my position to get. I was holding out for the, the next level, the position that was made for me. Let's be transparent about that. I believe that, that was the case. But it helped me prepare. It helped me have tough conversations. It helped me go through a situation where I didn't get something that I thought I wanted. And I had to grow through that. And it made me more cognizant and helped me understand to ask more questions and go, do I really want that? Right? Like, is that what I want? And really take a hard look. That was a growth point for me. So look at your year, 2022. Step number one, what were your targets? List them all. Career, personal, doesn't matter. List all the targets, all the things that you wanted to achieve. And then list out what happened relative to each one of those targets. That's the first thing. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to then look back at your year and I want you to list out at least five things that you remember that happened this year that you are so grateful for. You are so grateful that those things happened. Five of them. And you can do more, but minimally, I want you to list five. All right, because what we're going to do is we're going to carry the gratitude forward and we're going to carry the lessons forward, but we've got to know what those things are. That is what you're working on right now, that self-assessment, the reflection of 2022. Pull out the lessons that you need to have learned. Let's make sure you learn them. Pull out the things that we're celebrating because we got to go celebrate. And if you haven't taken the time to celebrate those things that are big milestones for you in your life, you better celebrate it between now and next week. Because I want you happy. I want you celebrating. I want you moving forward. Let's build this momentum that's going to carry you forward and move forward into 2023 with some speed. Okay? That's your challenge. Self-assessment. Let's go do it. I will see you next week. As always, go and be legendary.